So today's episode is based on a challenge by the application developer ShareMouse. A while back ago, I did an episode on whether or not Synergy 2 Pro finally worked. And ShareMouse challenged Synergy to basically a duel between the apps. But before I get into anything, my name is Steve Smith. This is TQA Weekly. If you enjoy this episode, you can become a patron on my Patreon at patreon.com slash TQA Weekly, where you can benefit from helping me pick future topics, other contenders, and of course, getting these episodes before everyone else. So the rules of the game are simple. So for the majority of the topics that we will be analyzing them against, we have to be avoid using a second keyboard and mouse. Both the computers are running Windows 10 Pro. They are fully updated, running the also the latest actual service pack. So that would be 1709. And of course, I must be able to log into Windows on the client device using the server keyboard and mouse without having to use the keyboard and mouse of the other one, be able to unplug them without any penalty from the application, must be able to copy and paste, must be able to drag and drop, and of course, there will be two scenarios in which both these applications will be running. Must work with XSplit running in the background. Must work with OBS Studio running in the background, which means there will be a little bit more panic between these developers because we are going to be looking for the point of view of someone who's a podcaster and a game streamer, of course, can be locked to a single device. So I must easily be able to lock the keyboard and mouse to a single device without going onto the other one by accident. Of course, must be able to unplug the mouse and keyboard from the alternate device, position easily the computer screens if ever the user were to change their position, and of course, must be able to run locally without internet access, just in case the internet died. That is information that is actually available on their sites. And of course, is encrypted between the devices and all over the internet. That is something that we actually have to worry about when it comes to stuff. And of course, must be easy to set up for any user without instructions. So let's start off this test with XSplit running in the background while using Synergy 2 Pro 2.0.6. We're going to be running Synergy 2 with XSplit and it's 2.0.6 using the latest version of XSplit as of this date, which is the 10th of March. And I should be able to log in to Windows by going to the next screen. So the mouse does traverse. There is an issue though. You can't actually do anything on the screen unless we use the server keyboard, which will allow me to log in. That's interesting. So now let's do the test. The test is going to be fairly simple. The first one is, can I copy and paste? We'll open drag me dot text, copy, go to the next screen, paste. That works. Remember, this is the X split version. The next thing that we want to be able to do is drag and drop, which doesn't actually work. So let's try this again. Remember white on white, not a very good thing for uh, the icon. So you see my mouse here? Let's try this again. Nope, can't drag and drop, sorry. Can it be locked to a single device? Yes, we can. That's actually a simple thing. Can we unplug the mouse and keyboard on the alternate device? No specific issue there. So apparently you can unplug it. And obviously this computer boots without a keyboard and mouse in normal times using this application. So I know you can actually run without it. Can I position the monitors relative to each other? Well, let's go in here. Oh uh, yeah. A little bit further, it's called Synergy. The little white dot is the server, by the way. Move the screen here. Now, so far, I have three screens for the one that's green and one screen for the other. So obviously we can't move the screens, but we can move 
the monitors and I disappear down the bottom and yep that actually does work now the other questions we should be wondering about is can it be run locally without internet access the answer is in fact no this is a cloud-based application currently is it encrypted between the devices and over the internet the answer is in fact yes it is encrypted between them and of course the bonus question is is it easy to set up without requiring instructions in the case of synergy it's actually harder to buy the application than it is to set up so all you legitimately have to do is install it on each of the devices and log in with your username and password into each of the devices and just set up where they're supposed to be and that is it and this is the exploit version which with exploit running on Synergy 2 Pro does actually encounter issues. Interesting. This is test number two. Synergy 2 Pro while running OBS Studio in the background. And let's see if we can first log in into the client's computer, which we can. No contest. Cool. The next question, can we copy and paste? Well, let's open Notepad in the client computer. Let's open Notepad on the server computer. Let's copy, let's paste. That is cool, that actually works. But drag and drop didn't. Let's try that again. So there you'll see. Drag and drop doesn't work yet. Can we lock to a specific device? The answer is actually yes. And for those who didn't know, it is in fact scroll lock the button that you use on a keyboard. Is it possible to actually use, actually watch this, okay? Let's do it on this computer. Go and load Synergy. Remember, the one with the dot is the server. Move it. Boom. And yes. Yes. It does, in fact, work. Da da. So we got that done. So we can actually copy and paste login. Works normally under OBS Studio. Lock the screen. Can we unplug the mouse and keyboard? Without any issue. As we see here, as long as you don't need to drag and drop anything from one computer to the next, Synergy 2 Pro does in fact work better with OBS Studio. So if you are a gamer or a podcaster, this is the application that I would suggest that you use if you're using OBS Studio, but not if you plan on using XSplit. So maybe they will address that. So now we're gonna be doing the share mouse testing. We are gonna be currently running it with XSplit to see if it is compatible with XSplit. And then we're gonna be doing like we did before with OBS Studio. And the first test is, can I log in? The answer is yes. Can we copy and paste? Open the file, copy, drag over to the next screen. We can in fact paste. Can we drag and drop? We can in fact drag and drop. Can we lock to a specific device? Yes, in this case, we can in fact lock to a specific device. You do that though by going to their set settings and you have to turn this on. So the part that says without control or whatever you want being pressed, they can't exit the screen. You do have to do this on every single computer, otherwise it doesn't work. The next thing though is can we unplug the mouse and keyboard? Well, in the case of the keyboard, I believe you can, which actually I don't know which one it is, but the mouse you can't, which by the way, I'm not gonna give it to you because at least in this case, 
there doesn't have to be any other. There are, in our case, because we're using Windows, that glitch, but you're going to have to keep some sort of mouse plugged in for that to work. Hopefully that part is addressed in a very much easier fashion. Can you position the computer monitors relative to each other? So I still gave the point to Synergy 2. They will have more refined control, but you can actually control the monitor, uh, the computers relative to each other in their case. But I, Seriously though, like, look at that. That is gorgeous. Because this is so much simpler than everything else that I have seen. Even if the UI is super simple for Synergy 2 for that, there isn't this much refined control on it. So each of the individual screens can be positioned. Just so that we also know, they only accept four monitors per computer, but you can decide where each of these actual computer monitors go. So that is really pretty actually. And the next thing is, can it be run locally without the internet? And the, act, the answer is yes. It's actually running inside of the internet, inside of the network and auto detects nothing to do. It just detects each other. Is it encrypted between each of the devices or over the internet? It's between the devices and it uses AES encryption. You can check their website for more details on that. And is it easy to set up without requiring instructions? You know what? I was halfway scared that ShareMouse was gonna have a more complicated setup. No, it's not that hard. It's literally the icon at the bottom. Once you're done installing, you put the serial number into one computer, you right click, you got settings, you got the monitor manager, which is this beautiful thing, settings right here. You don't need an instruction manual. It automatically detects, it just worked. This is the final test. Let's see if ShareMouse can still run correctly with OBS Studio and not XSplit, and can we log in? Let's see. Yes, we can. Can we copy and paste? Let's see, that is important. We can copy and paste. Can we drag and drop? We can drag and drop. Do they have a mechanism? We obviously know they have a mechanism. It does actually still work. Wow. I mean, like, seriously, I did not expect that to actually work cleanly. We can't unplug the mouse and keyboard, which is, they already know about that. I'm pretty sure they're gonna fix that. Can't position the monitors, yep. And you know what? Can be locked to a single device. You know what? They pretty much get logging in, copy and paste, drag and drop, works normally with XSplit and OBS running, and can be locked to a single. I mean, the, the only thing that they can't get a point for is the mouse and keyboard thing and what's more specifically the mouse thing but once that is solved this is truly a nice program with wow according to the rules of my game i had basically stated that i shouldn't have to use a keyboard or a mouse and obviously there is other points that are awarded based on other scenarios so for logging into windows and client devices both get a point. Copy and paste, both get a point. Drag and drop, only share mouse got a point. Works normally with XSplit running, only share mouse gets this point. Works normally with OBS Studio running, both of them get a point. So by the way, if you are share mouse listening, I would definitely, definitely start marketing to people who stream that use XSplit and OBS because that is a untapped market you're not touching right now. If it comes to you Synergy, I would be tapping the market on the OBS studio and working on fixing whatever is wrong with you know, the compatibility with XSplit. And of course you can always message me for details. Can be locked to a single device. Both of them got a point. Can unplug the mouse and keyboard and alternate device on the alternate device. Well, only Synergy is capable for some reason of doing that. Can position the computer monitors relative to each other. Now, most people stick the screens of one computer 
together and clusters and then others. So I can give the point to Synergy, but Synergy, I'm giving you a free point there because ShareMouse definitely handles it a lot better. And I do know that you are getting something very similar to that very soon. Can be run locally. Only ShareMouse does it so far. This is something that is coming for Synergy. So ShareMouse gets the point, even though Synergy will be getting this. So you know what, Synergy, if you want a rematch later, go ahead, go and ask me for a rematch. That will be fine. And is encrypted between the devices. Both of them do it. Both of them have encryption between all the devices. And I put a bonus question, which apparently would not have changed nothing, is easy to set up for any user. Synergy and ShareMouse are both extremely easy to set up for each user. So regardless of everything else, Synergy gets edit points, ShareMouse gets 10 points, and the only deciding factor is going to be is whether or not you need drag and drop, and do you absolutely need it to be offline, and does it have to support XSplit at the same time? So if you absolutely need XSplit to be supported and you do need drag and drop, ShareMouse is your choice. If you don't need drag and drop just yet and you're using OBS, consider using Synergy 2 because they are $10 less. But that is up to you. Both of the programs are absolutely amazing. Synergy 2 will be absolutely amazing once everything is completely fixed in there and of course if you are wondering on that go to tqaweekly.com slash se8 ep29 there's a roadmap for synergy there are links to every single company in this match and like this episode if you liked it dislike it if you didn't share with those that you think can benefit from this and don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions comments suggestions for topics and even suggestions for contenders email me at ask at tqaweekly.com or go to my website tqaweekly.com for everything else and if you want to make this show better help me make more like these and even be part of the patreon family go to patreon.com slash tqaweekly and become a patron today patrons get these episodes before everyone else thank you for watching and goodbye